I really don't like the floodlights. I don't feel like they actually make it easier to see in this game. It's weird. Which way is this? Uh, compass east. This is me going east. I think this is the way I was going. Like, this is not the way I came from. This is a different direction. Facing forward. Go the keel. We've got tons of clearance. Not so much up here, so let's go down. Sure, let's poke about, see where this goes. Y'all can come, calm down. Jesus Christ. It's so loud when you're not even in danger. It's like just a big tunnel. Uh... Getting a bit dark. Oh... Dude, calm down. What's it? What? Is it the top? Oh, it's the top, isn't it? Okay. Calm down. That is another... That's another ghost leviathan. It's twitchy. And now it's gone. <laughs> I haven't seen any crab squids down here, have I? This area is interesting. It's just kind of covered in glowy spots. You're so twitchy. I'm thinking I should preemptively go to the opposite side if I can. I want to explore in this direction. Unfortunately, at the moment, I have no idea which direction to explore in. So I'm just kind of going in any of them, really. I got this direction. I've got the one that maybe goes back to that one lab that I kind of know about. Or whatever it is. The sectioned off area that I tried to get into before. Oh. He's twitchy. Would not hurt to have access to some, uh... He doesn't see me, right? Whoa! There's a hole here. Oh, how close is he getting to me? Uh, damn it, I came over here to be away from him. He's, he's mobile. He's really mobile. I think the game is suggesting that he is related to the Ampials, basically. It said that it has electro receptors or whatever that are buried under its skin instead of outside of it. Huh. Not currently noticing me. I got that going for me. Okay. I think I want to label this place. I think I'm going to keep going straight. Yes, yes, you exist. <laughs> Go 
question is, can I successfully hop out without being in trouble? Let's check the radar, see how close he is. Not close, evidently. Okay. Here's hoping. Am I under attack right now? I don't like that sound. I don't like that sound. I'm going back inside now. Bye bye. Systems online. I don't like that sound. Oh, he went after me, didn't he? Where is he? He above? Oh, he's above me. He he went towards this direction. He makes naughty sounds. I don't like him. Uh, you were successfully kicked out, right? Yeah, 850 meter hole. I don't know what else to call it. It's the hole that's deep down here. I might need to find it later to go even deeper, since that's one of my goals. I think I was saying before, but it's interesting that like the moment I'm in a place like this, my my normal instinct to explore that I always have in games kicks in. Can you go away? You're really hugging me right now. You weren't here when I came here. That's why I came this way. Cool, he's coming directly up under me. That's good news. Huh. Did you not? Are you getting stuck in the hole right now? Dude, he's hugging me. But once you give me a big explorable area where every room looks like it has a unique thing going on and suddenly I want to explore the whole place thoroughly. Whereas normally I'm just kind of poking around. Alright, we need to use silent. We need to use silent running. I need to get away from here. But while not alerting it, hopefully. I wish it didn't make that sound. Is that just for my benefit? The, the sound effect it makes? Ooh. It's all lighting up over here now. That wasn't all here when I came in. Calm down. I don't think we need silent running anymore. Oh, this place is cool. There's also the thing where I'm less afraid when I'm in a cave just because my surroundings are enclosed, so I... The, the grand scope of it all is less there. Like, I... It's, like, the, one of the scariest locations so far. Well, the, the black area was pretty scary. But also the, uh... The, f the area where the islands were floating? That was not a good time. Because <laughs> in that area, uh, I couldn't see in any direction. Ever. It was just a... It was just like an infinite abyss, and that's horrible. I hate that. No, not a fan. Nothing around me right now except for those guys that might attack. Probably will attack. Uh, I've got my thing ready. That one's infected. Somebody call a warper. Just see if I can avoid detection for a bit. I just want to scan one of you guys if I can. Don't like that sound. Pyro coral. Where's the big guy? I don't see him. Oh, that's a lot of quartz right there. There's a vein. Oh, there he is. He does not glow like you might. Okay, kind of glows. No, I think he's just being lit up. Please don't come towards me. Titanium. Fuck me. Please be killing that and not me. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I think it was hunting the other guy, not me. But still, not a fun time. Hey there. That was a weird animation. It's all floppy floppy. 
That's interesting. That that wasn't physics. That was not his weird tendril things uh, ragdolling. That was them moving around. I think he has control over the. Are you fucking right here, dude? Go away. Thought I was safe over here. Dude is into me. Come on. Go back to not being in the zone. Is this because I went outside for a second? Did he detect me? Maybe he'll go away if I read. <laughs> no. Hang on a second. I'm just going to go in the pilot sub animation for a second here. My character glitched for a second and I don't trust that. I, I, I'm worried that means I'm just going to kick me out. Pyro coral. This coral species is unlike any other encountered in 4546B insofar as it relies on magma flow rather than water current to deliver nutrients. As lava rises up from the planet's core and erupts in vents, the coral forms around the base until eventually it is surrounded the entire vent. Lava is then funneled up to the coral, allowing it to siphon minerals and heat as it goes. Y you done? He's done. Cool. Fuck. <laughs> Literally blocking the direction I'm trying to go in. Dude, you weren't even patrolling here a second ago. Go away. I, was, I almost started the vent, the engine. Like, here we go, he's gone. Then he's like right on me. Engine powering up. We need to book it. Oh shit. Rig for silent running. Okay. It's fine. We'll just go- we'll just quiet down for a bit. That's why we have that button. That's why we have that button. Because it makes that not go get me. Specifically. There we go. It's probably enough silent running. I have a lot of fucking power cells. <laughs> I already knew that, but it's really registering for me how many power cells I have. Now that I'm seeing the like... I haven't had to switch the power cells yet, really. Well, since I've been in those caves. And they're lasting still. Ooh. It's another skeleton. We're going up, though. Yeah. So ultimately, this is probably not progress. Oh, that's a reaper. That's a dead reaper. Hello. I mean, even if I have to backtrack through all this, I kind of want to see where it goes, right? And the only thing I have to do is sneak past that Leviathan on the way back, maybe? Oops. Engine powering down. Always save power. Even if it doesn't seem entirely necessary. Listen, I have the resources to probably build an entire thing to repair my resources. Okay. Hey, you're clearly a Reaper Leviathan. But I can't scan you. You just are. They do die. Was it the ghost that did it? Because they're on a hunting, they're on a, a murder spree to add to their biomass and whatnot and keep growing. Like maybe the maybe the ghost leviathan killed the reaper leviathan. I don't know. I've seen you before, right? Ghost weed. Dude, you see the new ghost weed? Bruh. Is that a little bit of nickel? Nope, it's a shale. I can partly tell it's shale because of all the little fine little layers it has. The horizontal planes. I can't really tell from between sandstone and, and uh, limestone at a distance in this game. But shale's pretty identifiable in the right light. I 
All right. Well, that's not a co that's not a codex entry for me. Engine powering up. Kind of in my way right now. Uh, depth indicator. Yeah, calm down. I was a little surprised by how like not big of a deal it was to repair my vehicle when it took damage. I just kind of went out there and plunked a little repair on it and it was all better now. Getting colorful in here. We're about 500 meters deep. This is like how deep I was when I entered in the first place. Hey, bone sharks. Bone sharks. Alright, creepy music's playing, even though this is me going towards the surface, so you'd think I'd be less spooked right about now. Where is this? There's warpers. I have no fucking clue where I am. Wait. This is where I got attacked by a reaper for the first time. Look at the gooby goops. I don't know what to call them. It's the gooby goops. Look at these assholes. I remember the- oh, there's rubies here. I'm in- I'm in goob land. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I'm at the surface. I mean, at the surface surface, but I'm at the... I'm here. This is where I got attacked by a reaper. Well, it's, it's where I went to collect this. It's, what, it's where, This is where I went to go check out one of the things, and then I got attacked by a reaper. Ah, both of you? I've made mistakes. I'm labeling things, damn it. I've become abundantly aware of just how it's just not that expensive to make a beacon. And then place one and then hide it. So I really should just have more beacons. See, there's nothing on the map, right? So I should be safe. Ish. Around here. Cool. Oops. Disco cave. I don't know what the fuck to call you. I don't know, because I don't know the names of most of these things, really. So I just kind of have to make up a name. It's Disco Cave. Boom. Not been around here for a while. It's very dark, though. It might get brighter if I sleep. I'll give that a go. It's amazing how it's darker not in a cave than it is in a cave, because the caves are so packed with bioluminescence bio so you can see everything. That doesn't help at all. Alright. Yeah, that's the best I can do right now. I can wander around a little bit. My beacon's here, so I can find my way back. Let's see. Yeah, Disco Cave. I'll label you slightly green for some reason. You can't do purple. I would do purple because those things are purple. Did I, did I ever actually scan one of those things? Oh, 
Let's see, which direction is like the heart of this zone? I want to go towards the center of it a little bit. And explore. Because I, I, I was in a panic. Okay, so that's the HQ is back that way, so it's probably that direction. I was in a panic when I went through here. I had to like, I couldn't survive below its surface and whatnot. Did I ever explore the wreck? There was like a wreck that was like on a cliff. I don't remember if I ever explored it. Am I right there actually? That's like a s giant sand cliff. Oh. Is it like a giant ridge? Where am I? Sharks as far as I can see. I think I'm on like the margin of this zone. You guys can't be that loud, it's impossible. Ah, there's those guys, okay. It's a little brighter over here. There's the ampules. Oh shit. Engine powering down. What is that? What is it? Is it the ampule? Oh, it's the ampule. Engine powering up. It was hostile for a second there. So ampules show up on the map. I guess it's because it can attack me, right? Because it's electrical? Oh. Leviathan? That's probably the Leviathan that attacked me when things went down. There he is. There's the that's probably the Reaper that attacked me. So am I am I near the mountain? Because like this was the zone I was exploring. That was pretty far away. It wasn't 12. I think it was one of the ones that had a signal. High priority passenger. Near cave under attack. Sea Clyde Dam. No, I know where those places were. I can't remember. None of these signals seem like they were the right one. Yeah, I don't remember. But here we are, in less than 300 depth and inside of a Reaper again. How, the, the distances we've traveled. What zone is that? It might be the mountain zone. There's a huge amount of vertical change around here. So if you follow the verticality over here, you might find your way into the mountains like the big well the, the big mountain because there being one giant mountain above the ocean might indicate that there are in fact other mountains below the ocean that's not the direction i want to go in then all right i think this would be so confusing and disoriented of a travel i'm just trying to find a bunch of the blue of those bulby things in one zone and kind of poke around and explore a little bit and scan some things just because I felt like the ones I was looking at seemed like there were only a handful 
And there was way more when I found them the first time. I'm thinking- oh, there's a gel sack here too. I'm thinking it's just gonna have to suffice. Let's just hang out here where I put the waypoint in the first place. I'll see if I can scan these things. I'll see what I have and haven't scanned. Cause there's- there's nothing on the- there's nothing around here that shows up on my map. Right? Yeah. There's just the sharks. Ooh. This is a bit more fleshy. There's a bit more over here. Okay. I'll give this a go. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to get a, a foothold on where I am. But I mean, this is all... This has to be near the mountain because that's where I, saw, I sought refuge after the, the incident. Titanium. I mean, I, I, it looks like I've already scanned these. I'm down. Just poking around. Oh, he's coming after me. Look at that giant gaping hole. There's a lot of these guys around. Uh? Uh? Did I imagine that? Damn it. Oh, it might have been a waypoint or something. I was sure that I saw a scanner pop up. But, oh. That's probably an ampule egg. It looks just like an ampule. Comically and hilariously, it looks just like an ampule. Absurdly, it looks just like an ampule. I don't have one of your guys' eggs, do I? I want a bone shark egg. I have the other two sharks. What do your guys' eggs look like? Yeah, despite what you'd expect, uh, my- it seems like my rapid-fire little excursion through this zone might have kind of found everything. I'm not really finding anything to scan. Everything looks- it, it looks like a pretty mon- uh, I almost said monotonous. Not the right word exactly. It looks it's a kind of a homogenous zone. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Kind of one repeating thing on the inside. Plop you in there. Cool, this chest is out is full. Great! Good job, me. Where am I gonna put all this shit? Uh Couple golds can fit here. Diamond's not quite full. Lead is unfortunately full. Not in a great shape. Don't mind me, I'll just make another one. Haha. <laughs> we wouldn't want to waste any resources now, would we? I say as we like. I have no idea what to do with all of our resources. It's fine. Maybe I'll need them at some point. This is a place where things will fit. <laughs> Boink. Now, that, now I need to run to that chest whenever I'm full. <laughs> Definitely re-equip the stasis rifle. Do not forget to have that equipped at all times. With my current whereabouts, I am under constant threat at all times that to have bad things happen. Alright, well this was an interesting little place to arrive to, but I have no reason to be here. So I'm gonna peace right out. And we're gonna go right back the way we came. And check out all the other paths. Well, all while acknowledging that maybe that one hole is where I'm supposed to go next, because, you know gaping hole but there was other places I want to check out 
At the very least, I want to check out the place where I can use my tablet and spend the, go spend my tablet to see what I get inside. Whether it's story or what. Or maybe another inactive teleporter I can't use. Hooray! How exciting. <laughs> We're already, a, we're already a kilometer away from the hole that I found? H how did we get that far that fast? That's just kind of astonishing, honestly. Go to the keel. Face forward, there we go. One piece of good news is I can look at that whole waypoint. That'll tell me how far away I am from the Ghost Leviathan, approximately. I can travel a bit faster until then. This was a big cave. Like an astonishingly long, but also entirely linear cave. I've been covering so much ground. Places are so spread out. It's weird to be traveling in... Th like, there, we already were traveling in 3D and that we were underwater and everything. But now I'm traveling in 3D and then I'm going, like, vertically down into the world itself, too. So... The sense of space has gotten really weird. 